friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 10th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes and world weather starting out here, having a look at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun. And as I've been reporting the last few days, very active with multiple M-class solar flares and X-class solar flares. That large sunspot grouping. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have another sunspot grouping on the left-hand side turning in for Earth-facing playtime. Having a look at outgoing, you can see on the right-hand side, that is our very active sunspot region, which produced the X-class solar flare, and it has been reacting with the outgoing sunspot region for the past four days now. We've got multiple coronal mass ejections on their way. Mother's Day solar storm is expected. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events. We did have a large plasma filament in the northern hemisphere and as well as noted and detailed here, a couple coronal holes to talk about one in the northern hemisphere and one stretched across the south and turning into view so coronal hole wind stream is a cooled region on our sun which can produce our solar winds increased our solar winds having a look at sunspot regions now there are seven sunspot regions that are earth facing the one in the north big black hole in the northern part of our sun very interesting dynamics with our sun through solar cycle 25 turning into the maximum, which will last up to 11 years. So a lot more events like this are on their way. But what happened here from this large sunspot grouping, four coronal mass ejections, and having a look at our solar winds, this is our planet showing our magnetosphere, the pressure planes. That is the moment of impact as our solar winds were coming in at about 300 and now they're coming in over 700 kilometers per second. So that is the pressure that our planet is under and having a look here at our solar winds showing the speeds. So the darker the red, the faster the speeds. Geospace magnetosphere cut planes up and over 700 kilometers per second. And that will continue now for the next couple days throughout Mother's Day weekend. So heads up here as we are going through a severe level four geomagnetic event as we speak and will for the next two days. Having a look right now at the KP index as we are KP9 just over the last hour, and that most likely will level out at about 9 for the next 24 hours. Current space weather conditions are three strong radio blackout impacts expected, and as well solar radiation storm impacts, of course, with this coronal mass ejection now hitting us. G4 severe geomagnetic storm impacts are evident and will continue over the next 24 to 36 hours. Much love, everybody, and much love to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day from the do to you. Having a look at solar winds, as you can see, 701 kilometers per second right now. Normally, they're around 250 to 300 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux. Very busy the last two days. Minor X-class, multiple M-class, solar proton flux rising and steadily, geomagnetic activity, KP9, as I said. And have a look here across North America. This is showing the geoelectric field map as the solar storm made impact today. So it was electrifying across North America as this event made impact. So across the skies through Canada, Yukon, and as well as far south as possibly California, Alabama, you will see 
Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights. Showing here the highest frequency affected DRAP. This is during the X class event. Starts to come in here, right over the Atlantic Ocean, and boom. KP levels up to nine. Solar wind speeds up and over 700 kilometers per second. Just amazing times to be alive. So grateful to have you along for this journey. Grateful to be able to share this information with you in collaboration with all of the developers and researchers. Having a look here, Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere for Aurora forecast. This is just for the next hour as the event is making the impact. G4, Class 4 geomagnetic event. And there it is. Big northern lights tonight. Wait for that to swing around the planet. And as I said, we're going to be able to see northern lights as far south as parts of California and Alabama. Central United States. And this is for tomorrow. Now let's get to earthquakes for the past 24 hours as we most likely will see an increase over the next couple of days. Give you a full update right now. Deepest earthquake today and potentially the last week is right here in Fiji, 587 kilometer depth, 4.5. The Tonga region, notable earthquake here. Papua New Guinea, 5.6 magnitude, Kokopo, and as well Taiwan, Sizable 5.8 magnitude earthquake today. Throughout these space weather events, we most likely will see an increase in seismicity around the world, an increase in volcanism as well. This is sharing here the last 24 hours for earthquakes. A lot of minor earthquakes increasing across Alaska right now, and that's kind of normal. North American plate, not much. Too much to talk about. Toya, Texas, 3.8, largest across North America. Caribbean Plate, 4.6 there. Guadalupe. South American Plate. Rocking from Peru, Peru to Bolivia. Argentina to Chile. Very peculiar and watch for stranger things to come here the next two days as we are affected by this geomagnetic event. And please just stay safe and healthy out there, my friends and family. And if you live in an earthquake-prone zone, be ready. Have a go bag ready and just know what to do if a large earthquake happens or you have a tsunami on its way to you. Stay tuned with daily events worldwide and I'll keep you aware and prepared as much as I can. This is a glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Right now, USGS is reporting 230 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. Stay tuned. Keep you updated on all of the latest. And thank you and welcome to all of the new followers overnight. Over 76,000 followers worldwide now. Now let's have a look at the SO2 forecast here, sulfur dioxide emissions in our atmosphere. Still a large plume moving across Africa and through Indonesia from the Mount Ruang eruption a couple weeks ago. This is from all of the active and erupting volcanoes around the world, and there are 48 of them. If you haven't seen the updated volcano activity report, please check out this link below and see the latest. Looking across the Pacific, multiple volcanoes through northern Japan and as well Kamchatka, eastern Russia, all through the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska. 
quite a bit of SO2 releasing from our planet through the 48 volcanoes erupting around the world. Now let's have a look at world weather here, starting in North America, as stormy conditions will continue around the Gulf states as summer's trying to move in early. But we've still got some cold fronts coming from the north. Watch for snow through parts of northern Ontario with a low pressure system coming from the north. But then watch this central low pressure system coming through the states, set to bring in a lot of rain and severe weather before it gets ushered into the Atlantic. And that long-range forecast for next Friday, watch for a very vigorous system, southeastern United States, and a very big low moving into the Hudson Bay of Canada. Lots of rain moving in for the west coast of British Columbia as well. Overlooking Europe and Africa, High pressure ridge dominant across Eastern Europe. Low pressure system gets locked ahead of that right over the United Kingdom and Ireland. So multiple days of rain, gray days ahead for you. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, South Africa. Strong system moving in through northern New Zealand for the long range and as well parts of northern Madagascar could see potentially a cyclone develop in the long range. Other than that, no major typhoons or cyclones here forecast. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific. Most of these systems still heading northwards towards Alaska. Strong high pressure ridge over the Pacific right now and a big low developing northern Hawaii. Watch for the big surf. Much love, everybody. And again, stay safe and healthy and enjoy your Mother's Day weekend. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.